I have my sunglasses on at night because that's just what cool people do, right? Okay, well, I'm trying to be cool. Maybe something. All right. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, I'm trying my best <laughs> on the uh, presidential campaign style. Uh, I know there'll probably be more in 2012 as everything gets heated up. Um, let me be clear about something here. There's been some rumors stirring up by Newt Gingrich and his people that Ron Paul is racist over some newsletters that were written 20 years ago when Ron Paul was practicing medicine. Um, these newsletters were written in the third person. They were not written by Ron Paul himself. Okay, Much like if you go to a website, say like the Drudge Report, like I like to go to, if you go to a Drudge Report, there's many, many articles that are written on that website that's not written by Matt Drudge. Okay? Or like any other website you go to that has news articles or stuff like that. This happens. Alright? So, if I had a website, if I had this big, great, big old website that I had people working on articles and columns and stuff like that and I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan but if someone was writing about the Philadelphia Eagles and how they like the Philadelphia Eagles are they representing me or themselves well obviously people think that they're all you know representing Ron Paul, I guess. See, back 20 years ago, before the internet, uh, they had newsletters. And newsletters were a part of, you know, what people, you know, it's like many of you who worked in those days that worked for large companies got newsletters through the mail. You had letters, you had articles in those newsletters, you know, they were written by different people. Does that represent the owners of the company? Um, to be totally honest, Ron Paul, when he found out about the uh, comments made, uh, the racist comments, they were called racist. I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, you know, he, he was, uh, he totally rejected those comments. Okay. This was after the fact that oh supposedly Ron Paul said that uh, you know that Martin Luther King Day was hate whitey day if that was the case then how come Ron Paul actually voted for Martin Luther King Day to be a public holiday he voted for it. If that was the case, how come he's, you know, what is this? If he's so racist, how does that happen? All right, here's a little thing here that I wanted to get with y'all about. Um, back in 2008, all of this was debunked. This is old news, by the way. If some of y'all are getting this for the first time, that's because in 2008 we ignored them. And I say we, I ignored them in 2008, okay? I was asleep in 2008. I will... I will admit to me being asleep in 2008. I've got to take these off, maybe. Does that help? If that helps, then fine. Okay, they were... This was all debunked in 2008. It was. Go look back on it. The only problem is, back in 2008, no one cared about them. I didn't either. I was asleep. I was... Uh, whoever wins, I hope it's John McCain or some crap like that. Let me tell you something about the Republican Party, especially on the Tea Party side, and which is basically the Republican Party, okay? Basically, the Republicans like to rename themselves Tea Parties because that's was the hottest thing, okay? They're a bunch of racist, mark my words, 
Okay, Newt Gingrich, racist. John Boehner, racist. I'm gonna tell you why. Why they're racist? Because they're putting racism on Ron Paul. They're not attacking his policies. They're attacking Ron Paul because of racism stuff that was debunked four years ago. Okay. In 2008, the Austin NWACP, Nelson Linder, publicly publicly backed Ron Paul for president. The NAACP. If Ron Paul was so racist, wouldn't you think the NWACP would NAA, then not NWA, NAACP. If if Ron Paul was so racist, wouldn't the NAA, NAACP like not back him? Okay. Same thing with Reverend Jesse Jackson and all these other guys. Don't you think they would be calling racist, racist? Don't you think so? They're not. It's all white people. All white people. And they're all Republicans. I don't hear any liberals attacking Ron Paul. I don't hear Obama. I don't hear anybody attacking Ron Paul except white Republicans. Okay? This is so funny to me because they cannot get Ron Paul or anything else. This is so hilarious. And if you people do not see this, then you are absolutely blind. Read into it, okay? When you watch your news, they're working. For, I mean, Ron Paul is like, they want him out of the picture because that, first of all, that gets in front of their guys, which is Mitt Romney, okay? Mitt Romney is their guy. No matter who you watch, especially Fox News, Mitt Romney is their guy. Newt Gingrich is their What happened to Herman Cain? They got him on Herman Cain, too. They put white women was supposedly, you know, whatever happened. Come on. But white women. I mean, it's all, they're a bunch of racist. Republicans are right. I do not, listen, this is the end of it for me. Okay? I do not consider myself a Republican. I never really did. Okay? I traditionally voted Republican. But I'll vote for Ron Paul or any Libertarian. I will not vote for Newt Gingrich ever. Ron Paul ever. Okay? If Mitt Romney gets... Did I say Ron Paul? I would not vote for... <laughs> If Newt Gingrich wins the nomination, if Mitt Romney wins the nomination, or anyone else, like Rick Perry or whatever, I will not vote for them. I don't care if he's running against Obama by himself. I will ride in somebody. I won't vote for Obama because he's racist too. I will not vote for Perry, Mitt Romney, or Gingrich. I will not vote for him. They're all a bunch of racists that will use race to advance themselves instead of the real issues. And they don't have anything on Ron Paul on the issues. They have zero. They have nothing. Ron Paul is the man. I don't care what you say. The establishment's putting it out there. The establishment is scared of Ron Paul. I'm just saying. If you don't agree with me, do some research, because it's out there. I want you to use your hand, your heads before you vote in 2012. This is a big thing for us, for us people, okay? Because Iran's threatening, you know, nuclear war. I mean, the Middle East on, is on the verge of just, oh my gosh, total... I guess it always is, but don't you think you want to have the right guy in there? Don't you want to work again? Don't you want the old America you want, you know, that you had way back in the day? Ron Paul's your best bet. Can't go wrong with Ron Paul. You know, those other guys are part of the New World Order. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching. Wear sunglasses at night. Do that. 
he'll get all the chicks. Seventy-three.